Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Amit Sen and I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist uh, working in Delhi. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking with uh, Health Collective and um, I think one of the most relevant uh, topics today in child mental health is uh, ADD or ADHD, the full form of which is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Um, it's, a, it's one of the most common disorders in, in childhood. Although there's a lot of controversy still across the world about, uh, about the nature of it, whether it exists at all, about um, how people get uh, over-medicated in some countries, particularly in the West. Um, so uh, there is still ongoing debate and controversy about it. However, if you see the scientific literature and uh, wide-scale studies by WHO across the world, including centers in India, you will find that the prevalence of ADHD is as high as 5% at least. Whereas in some Western countries it is thought to be 10%. So what is ADHD? How does it look? What does it do to children? So uh, children with ADHD often are bright, full of, uh, full of uh, life, um, very creative sometimes with a range of talents. However, they have difficulty in focusing or attending to tasks that do not interest them. And clearly one of the main things that begins to come to the fore is when they begin to go to school because they cannot sit down and focus on uh, academic work which is often for most children uh, as you might know is, is mundane, it's boring. And so these kids are often not able to complete their classwork, will not sit and do their homework, will make silly mistakes in their work. And uh, what confuses teachers and parents alike is that these kids, if they're interested in something, let's say in football or music or art might do exceptionally well and over there the focus and the concentration does not fail them and that is the key thing you know and uh, to understand that kids with ADHD will focus very well in uh, areas of interest but are not able to do so in whichever area or activity they are not interested in which again could be a wide range of things not just academics for instance if a child is passionate about football and if you made them sit down and do a painting they'll probably never finish it even when the day is over right so kids with ADHD have difficulties with attention which uh, manifests in various ways like I said in difficulty in completing, completing tasks getting distracted easily and as they grow up, not being able to manage their time very well, procrastinating, delaying their projects and assignments when they go to high school and so on, uh, they are often very disorganized, they, um, uh, they, they uh, can lose things, misplace their belongings and so on. So if you find a child or your child who is otherwise very bright and capable but is struggling to do so, do not jump to labeling them as being lazy or careless or uh, he just doesn't care and he doesn't want to do these things because children usually will do things they can and if they are not able to do something or if they are not doing something although they might find reasons for it it could be that they are incapable at least at that juncture to do it and it's important to understand that from, from a point of view of what you know of, of development of neurodevelopment um, the other uh, features of um, uh, ADD ADHD are uh, hyperactivity and impulsivity. So ch a child who's young may have difficulty sitting still, may be uh, very jumpy and restless and fidgety, um, may um, talk excessively, may be very loud and noisy in, in play areas or even at home or sometimes in school even. Um, they might have difficulty waiting for their turn, they might be easily frustrated, uh, have uh, get bored very easily and so on. And when you see some of these features in children, do question whether they are wired differently to the extent that they might have something which interferes with um, their overall growth and development. Of course you might argue that uh, many children are like that. I mean many children are uh, jumpy, fidgety, uh, that's because they're children of course. However, children with ADHD after a certain time begin to find the common developmental goals, let's say like academics or peer relationships or self-regulation, you know, difficult to do. So when these things become dysfunctional and we find that a child who otherwise seems intelligent and capable is unable to do these things, we then begin to suspect ADHD.